Good morning everyone. It's maybe 3.30 a.m. or 3 a.m. right now. I'm just here in the room by myself and just thinking, thinking of Emma. Sometimes I message her but she falls asleep. Oh, I think that's her. I think she just messaged me. I'm not sure. We spend a lot of times chatting. Sometimes I'm sleeping, sometimes she's sleeping. But we wake up off and on and message each other since we're in different parts of the hospital. I went to sleep shortly after I filmed the last clip. And now it's 12 p.m. I'm gonna visit Fema and give her her toothbrush and some other things. The reason why I can't visit her is it's a labor room and other women are giving labor there and things like that. I think that's why I can't go there. I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm not allowed to go there unless she's taking a shower or having to brush her teeth or something like that. I tried to visit Fema but she's sleeping right now so I have to go back later. But I'm happy that she's sleeping. That means she's comfortable. So I'll just wait for her desk. of Deval Doctors Hospital. I guess it was founded in the 1960s when Mindanao was called the Land of Promise. I'll show you the pictures of them soon. It's right over here. And they have some antiques here, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure. A weighing scale used in the 1960s. A pipe. Uh, hold on. I'm talking to Fema right now and she's happy with the vlog that I uploaded yesterday. Yeah, I'm filming right now, but not. Uh, here, I'll put you on speaker, hold on. Okay. I have a vlog, I'm still in the labor room. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have blood in the mm -hmm. and um, the doctor, my dear, uh, prescribed again magnesium sulfate. Mm. It's because my my contraction is getting a lot more, like like uh, it's like three minutes. Three, three minutes? Yeah. Oh yeah. my! It's crazy. Yeah. How come it keeps getting shorter? <laughs> I don't know, and it's very strong. Oh no. <laughs> so, uh, they gave me a hint of the machine for me. And then, uh, I feel like I'm drunk. So, Fem and I talked a little bit after that. It was a little bit more sentimental when I wasn't filming. But I'm I'm happy. I'm, I'm proud of her. She's sometimes sad because she's very uncomfortable and her nose is dry and a lot of things with the medicine is making her uncomfortable and she's by herself and she's scared because she doesn't know what's going to happen if we're going to have a premature baby or not but for me as long as the baby is born and he gets to live a long life with us and we get to live a long life together that's not for me everything else is just the details i'm proud of Fema and i love Fema and i'm happy that i get to talk to her on the phone I'm gonna create some captions for our latest video. That way people who don't speak English, they can read it in Tagalog or Thai or Masaya or whatever language they speak. And I'm gonna do my best to also translate the Tagalog so that people who don't speak Tagalog can read it in English. It's the baby wipes. 
Okay, I'm still here trying to translate the Tagalog. Now I'm bringing Fama some kamote and banana because the doctor said that will help with constipation. <laughs> so, bring in this. I'm very yeah. happy you brought shorts because look, I'm using a straw. There's, there's no, there's no butt. Yeah, there's no button on my shorts, so I keep on having to unzip or keep on having to zip. Your belt. My shorts. You have belt. Yeah, but this is different because it's no, uh, no button. Yesterday everything was going good. There were no contractions, at least very light contractions, and they were, they were spread apart. So the doctors decided to quit giving her the magnesium sulfate to observe. But what happened was the contractions came back so hard that it was every two to three minutes there was another contraction and I think they were kind of intense. So today they started giving her medicine again, the same magnesium sulfate, and it makes her feel very uncomfortable because the moment they inject it, first it hurts in the veins where the dexterous is, and then it gets her really hot, like she feels like her lips are in it or like they're spicy or hot or something like that so she's feeling uncomfortable but i talked to her on the phone and she was a bit relaxed because she had some time to recover from the medicine and she's in good spirits just a little sad because maybe she's lonely but i told her that everything is okay everything will be okay and everything is okay i, I think that's how it always is okay so i finally finished the captions for the preterm labor video let me set the timings and see what happens. Subtitles are being set. Check back soon. Yesterday, I saw what I look like when I'm sleeping for the very first time. You mean that's what I look like every morning when I wake up? Ah, mm. uh, she's not talking. <laughs> You're not interested? <laughs> so, what do you think about the vlog? It's okay. It's okay? What do you think about your character? I'm happy because it's my face. <laughs> King? It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Funny face. Funny, funny jokes. <laughs> funny jokes. Funny face and funny jokes. How's, how's Rafi doing? Huh? Hey. He's laying down? Oh. Is he crying or is he not? No. Is that? Does he look? He's, uh, he's, uh, he's shouting like, ah, ah, ah. He, he is? Can you shout? Because his eye? I, I don't know. I think it's because his eye. He, he got surgery. Fem and I haven't seen him because he got surgery while Fem and I were here. Did the Marcel took care of him. But his eye, it, it got so infected because we kept treating it antibiotics off and on. But the doctor said we have no choice but to keep giving him the eye drop. But I guess it got worse even when we were giving him the eye drop. That we had to get surgery and take out one of his eyes so that it doesn't infect the other eye. He's kind of an old dog, he's seven years old and he's not really a breeded dog, like he's not a chihuahua or a really expensive dog. We got him for an affordable price. So I guess he's uh, he's experiencing some health problems. But again, um, I want him to recover. And when we move into that new apartment, I want him to be able to run around and play and at least relax. We'll buy him some bed and Tito Marcel can go to bed while I get something to eat. I always take the stairs. Maybe I'll lose some weight. <laughs> That's my goal anyways. <laughs> Move it back here. Almost. There. <laughs> you see the camera, my love? Oh, what happened? I'm just tired laying down. I'm tired of laying down. <laughs> I want to walk. I stand. I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. How long do you think I'm going to stay here? Um. Well, the doctor said two weeks, and that was three or four days ago. Three days, only two weeks. Um, I think I think so. What What do you want me to do? Is there something I could do to help you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank the doctor. Wow, full screen. What happened? Make it full screen again, my love. Make it sideways. Sideways. Yeah. There we oh, go. Yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Show the balloons, my love. Show, show the balloons. What room? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just like a pregnant. Like that. Oh, how how much water do you have left? Uh, I only have three bottles left. Okay, I'll, I'll buy you some more, huh? They said that maybe you should buy a big one instead of small ones. Oh, that's what somebody said on the vlog, but uh, I was afraid that you couldn't drink it because it's too big to carry. 
Why are you not moving? Okay. I was. Who's gonna pour you the water when you drink it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even have a glass. Do you? No, don't don't buy the big, the really big one. Just buy the medium one. Oh, it's medium. Okay. Okay. I just got done talking with Emma. We were talking about the vlogs and how she gets to watch me while she's in there, while she's in the labor room. She go watch my day, what I did, and things I ate and the things I say. But we we're talking about how much improvement I made because before when I was sick, during my relapse, I would just talk in circles, nonstop, just nonstop circles. Whenever she said something, no matter what it was, I'd always counter with the opposite. Just over and over again and there was no talking to me. It was just nonsense. All day I was speaking nonsense and sometimes I would just sit down and I'd blink out and I'd blink out for like hours at a time and not say a thing. And then when I start saying things, again, it's back to the circles. So I think Fema is really happy not only that we're doing fairly well with Zach in her stomach in the pregnancy, but also that I'm I'm better. I'm I'm not healed because I still take medicine, but the old me is back, or not even the old me, just a healthy me is here. And I'm sure that's a beautiful feeling for her. It's a beautiful feeling for me because I know that I'm not hurting people anymore, especially Femma with my words and things like that. So it's just, uh, even though this is a difficult time because we don't know what's going on the doctors can't even predict when the baby will be born and what will happen but at the same time it's it's still a happy time that's about it for today i hope you like the video if you like the video you could click like and we hope to see you tomorrow salamat